Hello everyone, I'm Sam Reichert with DeSotoCountyNewsroom.com. It is Tuesday. We start out in the low to middle 40s all across the area. We start out with clear skies. Watch that little uh, white dot moving in the corner of that video shot. That, I'm sure, is a FedEx plane flying through the air over my shoulders here at City Hall. Nothing happening on the front lawn of City Hall. As I said, Dreammaker Realty sponsors this seven day forecast. And here's the map features. We look at the national map and we see low pressure off the coast of Texas down there. That's going to play into our weather scenario over the next several days. And cold Arctic air diving out of Canada. That's going to play into our weather scenario also over the next several days. As you can see, those cold fronts lining up, moving in our direction from the Dakotas down through uh, the central part of the Great Plains area. And because of those two features, National Weather Service has issued a winter storm watch that will go into effect for our area early Thursday morning and last all day on Thursday. We look at this colorized map and uh, this is the National Weather Service to weather winter weather severity index which basically mirrors my BMHI index that I created several years ago. The purple area though I want to point out that's a rare extreme impact area predicted for Wednesday night into Thursday in central Illinois, northern Indiana, up into northwestern Ohio. Extreme impacts mean the National Weather Service believes conditions will be so difficult that travel probably will be impossible in those areas. I'll get to our forecast in just a moment. Nothing showing up on our radar right now. And we look at our watch and warning map and we see the purple area. That includes DeSoto, Tunica, and Shelby counties. That's the winter storm watch that's in effect and it extends way back into Arkansas. So the seven day forecast looks like this and we'll bring it a little bit larger for you so you can see it. 66 degrees for high temperature today. Yeah, mostly sunny early today, then partly cloudy, probably overcast by the end of the day. Winds from the southeast today at 5 to 15 miles an hour. Low tonight, 52 degrees. 59 will be the high tomorrow. We'll have a 60% chance for showers throughout the day tomorrow. Low 34. Our rain chances increased to near 100% Wednesday night. Our temperatures fall early during the morning hours to about 34 degrees probably when you get up on Thursday morning. And that's where the tricky part of this forecast uh, comes into play because some models show us dropping below freezing about 8 a.m. Other models show us not dropping below freezing until about noon on Thursday. But regardless, I expect a combination of rain and then freezing rain, sleet, and then ending as light snow by the end of the day on Thursday. And, and uh, when that temperature falls to freezing will indicate to us exactly how uh, impactful this event will be. But I think you need to prepare for changing types of precipitation throughout the day on Thursday. A high temperature Thursday, that occurs when you wake up Thursday morning as the temperature slowly falls. Overnight low 25, but by the time the temperature reaches 25, the precipitation is gone. Friday, partly cloudy, high 33, low 19. Saturday, sunny, high temperature 40, low 24. Sunday, High temperature 45 degrees with mostly sunny skies. I'm Sam Reichard. This forecast sponsored by Dreammaker Realty.